The G7X Mark II is one of the most popular options when it comes to vlogging cameras. Today, I'm gonna give you guys five tips and tricks on how to maximize your video quality with the G7X Mark II. Stick around. What's up, gang? Welcome back to Jordan Hauser Digital, where we talk tips, tricks, and tutorials to help you guys make the best videos possible. This channel is all about making videos to learn and improve your camera and editing techniques. So if you're new to this channel, consider hitting that subscribe button. All right, so let's get to the nitty gritty. Let's get down to business and let's get the show on the road. Tip number one, use the built-in neutral density filter. Not a lot of point and shoot cameras have this feature. So take advantage of it. It allows you to shoot in super bright conditions and will end up giving your footage a really nice saturated look. So all of your colors are gonna look super brilliant and very nice. Basically, it's a pair of sunglasses for your camera. Tip number two, if you want some really smooth and cinematic B-roll, consider shooting in 60 frames per second. You can take that footage and you can convert it down to 30 frames per second when you're editing and get some really kick-ass footage. Pro tip. Your shutter speed should always be double your frame rate. So if you're shooting in 60 frames per second, you wanna make sure that your shutter speed is set to 1 25th of a second. Tip number three, shoot at 1.8 for blurry backgrounds. The Canon G7X Mark II actually has a super fast, crazy lens on it with an aperture of 1.8, which enables a maximum depth of field and gives your footage that cinematic look and it also is pretty awesome for low light situations. Tip number four, use it to make some really cool transitions between the main pieces of your story. The camera is very small, it's very thin, and it can fit in small places. So, you can throw it into a medicine cabinet or put it into a drawer for some really cool and creative shots. Good luck throwing a DSLR inside a medicine cabinet. And finally, tip number five, shoot an awesome time lapse with the Canon G7X Mark II without any guesswork whatsoever. The built-in time lapse mode figures out everything for you and you don't have to take individual photos, nest those into a sequence and speed that up and export a time lapse. Now all you need to do is set up the built-in time lapse mode, hit record, and you're left with a perfect time lapse every single time. Hopefully you got some value out of these tips and tricks. Go ahead and like this video if you did, and let me know what tips and tricks you have about the Canon G7X Mark II below in the comments. And if you wanna see more videos like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button on your way out. 